Okay, uh, in this problem, we have a rocket that is traveling in space at 120 meters per second. So let's draw a little picture of our rocket traveling 120. Well, let's call that our uh, initial. Let's call that. Uh, let's call that V rocket. 120 meters per second. Now, the rocket wants to change its direction by 30 degrees. So, so here's our initial velocity, and here's our change in velocity. Here's a right angle, and this angle here is going to be 30 degrees. We want to change the direction of this rocket by 30 degrees. And basically, the way that the rocket does this is that it has another kind of like a booster or thruster that shoots horizontally to its direction or I should say perpendicularly okay to its direction so it can eject gases out like that now the what are we given here well let's see the mass of the rocket is originally uh, 3,300 kilograms and it shoots the velocity of the gases here VG the velocity of the gases that come out is uh, 2200 meters per second and we know that it wants to change its direction by 30 degrees the question is how fast or sorry not how fast how much how much gas should the rocket expel so if we know that then we've solved the problem so the way to do this problem is to say to yourself okay look let's do conservation of momentum but let's do conservation of momentum in th on this uh, not on this axis here because on this axis we have a constant uh, velocity this thrust perpendicularly to the direction of motion is not going to change the horizontal we can call it horizontal in space there really isn't any such thing as horizontal or vertical but in this case the existing direction of the rocket is not going to be the existing velocity in the direction of the rocket is not going to change instead this is the direction this is the axis okay let's just call this the vertical axis uh, for simplicity sake I can't even spell vertical and so initially the rocket has no momenta in the f in this up and down or vertical direction after the explosion okay the gas is traveling up and now the rocket has a component in this direction okay so we'll say all right mass of the rocket and velocity of the rocket plus the mass of the gas and the velocity of the gas because it's kind of an explosion uh, even though it's moving okay so basically at this point there is one thing which we need to take cons into consideration and that is let's rewrite this equation like this by the fact that you see the the mass of the rocket this is kind of this is really not that correct here okay and the reason why it's not really right is because this was the mass of the or rocket originally it's not the mass of this and the reason is because is now this new mass of the rocket is minus the mass of the gas that is left it so therefore we should really state that as the mass of the rocket minus the mass of the gas that left the rocket times the 
new downwards velocity of the rocket. And then, now, on the other hand, you see, um, the, yeah, so now we're going to just add the mass of the gas times the velocity of the gas, which is the momentum of the gas, okay? So this term here is basically the mass of the rocket, what's left if you subtract away the gas. Now, the problem that we have here is that we don't know this velocity. What is this velocity of the rocket? Well, that's going to come from the fact that there's a 30 degrees change in its direction. So if this is 120, now solely dealing with velocities, if that's 120 and that's 30, what's this going to be? Let's just say this is x. Remember your math, Sokotoa, right? So tan 30 is going to be opposite over adjacent, which is x over uh, 120. So that means that we've got x is equal to 120 tan 30. So I believe that's 69.3. And so now, really, what we've got is 0 equals mass of the rocket, which is uh, 3,300 minus, oops, one more zero, minus mass of the gas times VR, which happens to be uh, 69.3. And then we multiply, by the way, this is not really 69.3, it's actually negative 69.3. Because remember, that's going down, okay? It's going down. See? This guy's going up, and this guy's going down. So, uh, what do we have left here? That is this, so this term here, this whole thing, is what we've got written down here. And then we have to add the mass of the gas, which, so that's an unknown. And then you multiply that by the velocity of the gas, which you happen to know is 2200. Okay? So if you now solve, we now have one equation, right? And one unknown. So you've got mg here and mg here. If you do a little bit of algebra and you solve this, you end up with the mass of the gas being about 100 point seven kilograms and that's the end of this problem the the algebra used to solve that uh, isn't very difficult that's a G there so I hope you enjoyed this problem and now we know so see you next time